Also note that the normal European stars on their poster have been inverted into pentagrams. Now there you can see it. Now the pentagram shows the five points, symbolically the five places where Christ suffered. The one in the middle is upside down and you can see the goat's head. Now this next symbol is what's known as the Star of David, the Morgan David, the Jewish Star, the Seal of Solomon. There's numbers for it. This is the symbol for the nation of Israel. Now, when you take a look at it very carefully, you will notice that it is two equilateral triangles that are interwoven. This shows the union of God with man. However, when you look at the next one, it's similar to it. It's known as a hexagon. This is when you take two equilateral triangles, place one on top of another. Symbolically speaking, you're placing man above God. Now, this next symbol is the foulest, the most evil of all symbols in the occult world. There is nothing that can even come close. It is known as the hexagram. It is the six-pointed star with a circle surrounding it. It is this symbol that must be used during high ceremonial magic or high ceremonial witchcraft when you are summoning up demons to this plane of existence. Now something interesting is that we read about a dragon in the book of Revelation. Revelation 12 verse 3 And behold a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his head. And the dragon was wroth with a woman and went to make war with a remnant of his seed. Now note here that the Bible specifically pointed it out against whom this false church would make war. And it is those which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. And we know that the Roman Catholic Church is going to make war against the true Christians during the time of tribulation of Daniel's 70th week. Now with Revelation 12 in my mind, I decided to Google Vatican and Dragon. And this is what I have found. Now the picture above is a painting in the Vatican called the Vision of the Cross as seen by Emperor Constantine. Now history told us that Constantine was about to go to war and he was greatly outnumbered by his opponent's army and the day before the impending battle he saw a vision in the sky of a cross with a message. In this sign, and that is the cross, you shall conquer. So he adopted the cross emblem and defeated the army of Maxentius and declared Christianity the state religion of Rome. Now this Christianity was the Roman Catholic Church and not the true Christianity of Jesus Christ. Constantine was still a pagan sun god worshipper after the vision that he saw that day. Now you can read about it in encyclopedia at allexperts.com, the heading Constantine and Christianity. Paganism is mainly a religion of worshipping nature. Now the moon and the sun are the predominant deities of Gode. The moon is usually female and the sun male. Now remember the sun goddess Isis with Horus, also the mother of Baal, the golden calf or the Apis bull. Now Isis is also known as the queen of heaven. And remember Baal, the golden calf or the Apis bull, with a serpent in front of the sun disk. Now in ancient mythology, the serpent was universally the symbol of the sun. Sun worship and serpent worship began side by side. Now in Egypt, one of the commonest symbols of the sun god is a disc with a serpent around it. Now I want you to remember it, a disc with a serpent around it, because I'm going to come back to it in a moment's time. Now in the next clip, we will see that snake worshipping is still very much alive today in our modern world. India. Hundreds of people lining up to make offerings to cobras. It's part of a festival honoring the goddess of snakes. 
A priest says giving prayers, flowers, and milk to the cobras not only brings good fortune, but also removes obstacles in a person's career. Locals say it's more likely to come face to face with a snake this time of year. You see, the monsoon rains flood their holes, forcing the reptiles into homes and gardens. And that's a wrap on this Fox trip around the world in 80 seconds. Okay, let's go back in history to Emperor Constantine's vision of a cross, where we left off. A painter of Yahalo depicted this turn point in the conversion of pagan Rome to Christianity. Now he painted the winged serpent or a dragon, being symbolic of ancient pagan Rome. Now you can see it above in the right hand corner. Now this is a close up of the dragon serpent that he painted. Therefore, not surprisingly, did some of the popes adopted the winged serpent or dragon as their symbol on their heraldic shields, coat of arms, and it is painted and portrayed in the Vatican in the St. Peter's Basilica in Rome and in the Palace of Conservatori on Capitoline Hill. Now, the Palace of Conservatori is the place where the European Union signed their constitution. Now, the civilian people in Constantine's time thought they changed to Christianity but they were deceived by the new church of Rome and are still being deceived until this very moment. Now this is a dragon coat of arms of Pope Gregory XIII displayed in the buildings of the Vatican. You can see it. This is the same picture just zoomed in. Now Vatus means diviner and diviner means a soothsayer or prophet. Can means serpent. Vatican means the divine serpent. Now divine is Horlak. Now this is also the coat of arms of Pope Gregory. You can see it's all over the buildings in the Vatican. And this is in St. Peter's Basilica of Pope Gregory and the three scientists who developed the new Gregorian calendar that replaced the biblical calendar. Now on the tomb of Pope Gregory XIII is a baby dragon. Now Satan is known as the dragon. The baby dragon is the child of Satan, the Roman Catholic Church. That came forth from ancient pagan Roman religions disguised in a form of Christianity by denying the power of it. Now this is Pope Gregory's tomb with the three scientists who changed the biblical calendar. Now this is interesting. This is a papal medal of Gregory the Thirteenth. Now if you look closely on the right medal, you will see a serpent encircling the ram's head, biting its tail. Now remember that one of the commonest symbols of the sun god is a disc with a serpent around it. Now here you can see it. It is on a coin, a disc. Now this is also serpent and dragons on the handles in buildings of the Catholic Church. And this is of Pope Polis V, coat of arms. Also Pope Polis V, I want you to notice the snakes. Now you know no Christian church will decorate their buildings with demonic faces. No one except for the Vatican. And there you can see the satanic owl and the demonic face there with the horns. Now there's also Babylonian guards on the Vatican buildings. Now this is an inscription on a central entrance door of St. John Lateran on the Cathedral of Bishop of Rome. Now if you translate it, it is saying Sacred Lateran Church, universally for the city and the world, Supreme Mother of Churches, or Holy Lateran Church, Mother and Head of all Churches in the city and the world. Now this is a fulfillment of Revelation 17 verse 5. And we read in Revelation 17 verse 5, And on her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and of the abomination of the earth.
Now this information shows us the interwoven relationship of the European Union and the Roman Catholic Church that is emerging as a new world order, the fourth kingdom, that the book of Daniel is warning us about. And most people do not notice how it all ties together and biblical prophecy going in fulfillment.